Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy new release Wednesday, hump day. Coming at you with 2020-2021 Upper Deck SP Authentic Hockey 8 Box Inner Case. Pick your team number one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. All right, so there's the list right there. Big thanks everybody right here. And thanks everybody right here. Thanks everyone for getting in. If you have a little rooftop next to your name, that means uh, you won that spot in the filler. <laughs> nice try, Matt. But uh, no, no, no trades and pick your teams. All right, now let's pop open this entire case here. And let's see which inner case we're gonna do. Appreciate everybody uh, getting in on this. Um, pick your team two is the next inner case. So we'll, um, we'll do that after this video. They'll be in separate videos. All right, so now, got some dice. Let's roll it. Uh, let's pick that one right there. We'll go one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. Two, left side. So this side will be for pick your team two. There you go. That'll be in the next video. I got some of the gang talking, chatting a little hockey. I think that is the hockey draft coming up soon. So it'll be good to see how how the teams refresh. You gotta you gotta refresh to be fresh. Let's see how some of these teams refresh to be fresh. Now, a couple of people were asking uh, earlier what I thought about, uh, this is not hockey related, but what I thought about the Freddie Freeman news. Did everyone hear the Freddie Freeman news? So if you haven't heard, let me just adjust some settings here. So if you haven't heard, Freddie Freeman um, fired his representation because apparently they misrepresented him. Oh, and the hockey draft is July 7, 8 in Montreal. Right, so that'll be, that'll be exciting to see. So he fired, Freddie Freeman fired the representation because apparently the Braves did make an offer that, that Freddie Freeman would have taken, but allegedly it never got to him. I mean, I don't know. So allegedly it never got to him. So he fired his representation. So just from that story, I don't know. If you're the caliber of Freddie Freeman, I mean, I guess you, if you, you put a lot of put a lot of trust in your uh, in your agent to do a lot of the work. Well, apparently, how did he find out about it? Good question. I actually don't know that detail. I think maybe in a conversation with the Braves GM, who was who maybe in private was like, oh, "We gave him, we put that offer out there. We were surprised you didn't take it, or something like that." He found out somehow from the Braves organization. So now from, from that, there's another layer I'll, I'll share with you in just a second. But just from that particular standpoint, I don't know, if you're Freddie Freeman, and listen, I, I, don't, I don't question his commitment to the Dodgers. He's playing very well. Um, 
you know, he's been nothing but great. But, uh, but if you're Freddie Freeman, if you really want to stay with the Braves, aren't you checking in with your agent a lot? If the if the story if that part of the story is true, let's say let's say he never got the offer, you know. So if that's the case, wouldn't wouldn't if you're Freddie Freeman, wouldn't you be like, hey, are you sure there was an offer from the Braves? You got to let me know. Was there, you know? You know, before I do this deal with the Dodgers, you know, it, it, let me just double and triple check. But that didn't happen. His agents could lose their license? <laughs> you think they're licensed? I don't think they're licensed. I could be Freddie Freeman's agent. They might not get a lot of clients. Well, here's the here's the other twist. I'm glad you brought that up. Here's the other twist. Um, I don't think sports agents are licensed, though. Maybe, maybe, maybe no. Well, someone fact check me on that. But here's the other twist. Those agents are also Clayton Kershaw's agent. What? And Clayton Kershaw all but said, Clayton Kershaw all but said, hey, I mean, so are, are, you, are you with this team or, you, or, or not? What's going on? There's Ty Delandria, 323 to 999. Dallas, Edward with that one. Well, we don't know, Rex. We don't know the whole story. Ooh, and here's another Dallas star. That's a great patch there. Jason Robertson, 007 out of 100. Do, 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 do. Another one for Edward. All right, so we don't know if the if the agent actually did withheld withhold that offer. All right, Corey. Well, thank you. That's a big card, nice. Jason Robertson, half Filipino, says Oliver. There you go, some trivia there. So right, like Diego saying, we don't know how much information was withheld. So we don't know if, if the, well he fired his representation, so maybe it was enough truth there to fire his representation. But was there an actual offer? Maybe there wasn't, maybe Atlanta says there was an offer and there wasn't. Maybe Braves were just saying that? Could be a he said, he said situation. You know, as Jeremy was suggesting, was there was there some some collusion just to get uh, some collusion just to get Freddie Freeman in a Dodger uniform? Wonder why it's just coming out now. Well, Rex, the Dodgers played the Braves in Atlanta a couple days ago, so there was a little reunion there. Freddie Freeman hanging out with his buddies again, his old, his old teammates. You know, gotta pay attention, Rex. That's why I started. That's why those it's coming out. That's why. Why now? Because he went back, and then I guess someone was just like, "Yeah, we gave you that offer. We thought you were gonna take it. We thought that was exactly the offer you want to." 
That's what it sounds. Yeah, exactly, Diego. That that's what it sounds like. So I don't know. It's 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 a developing story, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll see. We'll see how it all shakes out. But, um, but yeah, I mean, like Rex, like Rex was saying, if that was the case, I mean, that's a serious breach of trust from from your agent that you that you're, you know, entrusting your your business with. Your you know your your salary, your livelihood, where you work, you know, so. There's Keegan uh, Colsar, 360 out of 999. Some spectrums can be numbered. Okay, I'll have to look out for that. After. Will it not be a different color if it's numbered? It's level one, that's not numbered. Will they hit me with a different color? Would they, are they that nice or not that nice? First, first handful we got, not num all, all not numbered. But thanks for the tip. Uh, Future Watch autograph. Ollie Uelvi, forty-one out of ninety-nine. And theory was the Braves offer. That I don't know. I don't know if the details of what the offer are. Would he have taken less to stay with? The I don't think so. I think they must be they, the offers. I feel like. For a player of his caliber and of his his you know experience in the league, I, I would imagine the offer was pretty similar. <laughs> yeah, probably not if you factor in California taxes, right? He's spending half of his half of his game checks are going to be taxed in California. That's true. At that level of money that you're making, I'm sure that, that they've got all sorts of all sorts of write-offs and loopholes that they can have to where the taxes won't be that bad. All right, so that future watch, sorry, that ULV is a Vancouver Canuck, by the way. That's for Kevin, Kevin M. So Riffer is saying two auto patches and one inner already, which apparently is unique. The auto patch is usually a case hit, a one per case sort of situation. So that's a good sign. Maybe we've got some hot, a hot master case here. Hey, no worries, Kevin. Yeah, remember to buy, uh, Kevin's like, hey, thanks for reminding me to buy that second team. If you want to be eligible for the, uh, for the SP Authentic sealed box giveaway uh, in each pick your team break, we're going to randomize uh, some names, but you can only get an entry if you buy at least two teams. So two teams, as the description says, two teams equals one entry, four teams equals two entries, six teams equals three entries, so on and so forth. Then we'll randomize those entries, name on top, we'll get the sealed box. It'll be from a different case. And then that sealed box, you can do whatever you want. You can buy it if you can sell it if you want to. You can pop that baby open if you want to. If you do open it and you get something cool, let me know. 
got a cool Young Guns right here. I think, is this not the, got to put respect on his name, but I believe this is the gentleman, the player that uh, was killed a couple Fourth of Julys ago. It's almost an anniversary, a, a dubious anniversary, but... Yeah, last year actually, 2021, 24 years old. This goes to Columbus, this will go to Matt. RIP. Listen everybody, it's no joke. Be careful with those fireworks. Sign of the Times autograph, Kevin Fiala, Minnesota Wild. Logan Smith, that's my public service announcement this uh, this holiday season. That's coming up this weekend. Be careful. I want people to be able to come back and be able to type in the chat. No missing fingers. Or worse, as the case could be. I think those, I'm breezing by those red parallels. I, I believe they're not numbered. Just FYI, they are they are parallels but not numbered. Mike saying that's the second clear cut young guns you've seen in SP Authentic break. But you don't see young guns on the SP Authentic checklist. Maybe it's uh maybe it's something especial. Be a surprise. Follow Upper Deck on all their social media channels. And we got Nikolai Kenzov. Kenzov? 239 out of 999, that's for San Jose. Edward. Yeah, unannounced Easter eggs that Upper Decks likes to do. Sign of the Times, Josh Bailey for the Islanders. Ryan with New York. Nice on card autograph for the Islanders. All right, next box. I wonder if they even mentioned it on, on, on the back of here. It's a lot of small print here. <laughs> Retro Future Watch, blah, 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 Immortal Ink, Immortal Ink, maybe it's just autographs, Tier 1, Tier 3, Future Watch, Celebrated Moments. I don't know, at a glance, I, I don't I don't see it on the back of the box.
I wonder how, so Mike, I wonder how short printed that is then. <laughs> 100 words per minute. It's like 90% accuracy. If I lower the, the, the words per minute count, then I could, I could get it to about 100%. Future Watch, Kevin uh, Lankinen. It's 999. I feel like I don't see a lot of numbered cards here either, although there's a thousand of these almost. What happened to Jordan Alvarez, Rex? What's the what's the news? There's Spectrum FX Connor McDavid. I've heard of him. He's pretty good. And Thomas Hurdle. Limited on-card autograph for Edward and San Jose. There you go. Oof. Diego saying hit in the face by his own player. Alvarez and Pena collided in the outfield. I feel like Jordan Alvarez is sort of a a large human being, right? I wonder who got the, I, I actually don't know how big Pena is, but I feel like Alvarez is a big dude. They're both under concussion watch. Connor McMichael. 251 out of 999. He even hit you up with a uh, number inscription there as well. Uh, that is for the caps. Mark with the capitals. And a sign of the times autograph, Tyson Berry for the Oilers. That's for Inku with Edmonton and get all those Connor McDavid's as well. Connor McDavid inserts. I think all do all cards ship or no vet. This must be a no vet common. Yeah, no vet commons will ship, but I think Connor McDavid still does. All right, we're halfway through this uh, eight box inner case break. This is going to be looks like probably have another 20, 25 minutes to go in this break. And then coming up right after this is uh, Pick Your Team 2, separate video. When I get to about the last part of the last box, and if it's looking like I'm like, I'm sounding like I'm wrapping up the break, don't, don't forget to remind me about, about the, uh, the box that I have to give away at the end. This kind of break is an excellent candidate for Joe to forget to do the giveaway at the end. Yeah, that's right, Rex. Yeah, sometimes you don't realize how fast they're running in the outfield until you see that collision. Because there, there's no, it's just wide open space. At least in, at least on an NFL field, there's other players that are running around too. So that serves as a little bit of context. Box. Good luck. Huh. 
All right, and away we go. And Jason Jaspi will have, um, there's Brady Kachuk for Ottawa. Jason Jaspi will have personal boxes of this. I think it's one of those situations where we can't post the price publicly. Uh, that's for Ottawa, that's gonna go to Jack. But just check in with him and he'll give you the details on how to get yourself a personal box of this. There's uh, Vitaly Kravstov to 9.99, future watch. For the Rangers, that's Adam, AK and his Rangers. Hopefully someone to watch for the future. Uh, Delandra, future watch, Spectrum FX, not numbered. He's gonna go watch Houston play this weekend too. Hopefully Jordan will be okay by then, says Diego. Yeah. I just want to see those good, good young players out there on the field consistently. Yeah, the Sun too. The sun's underrated, especially. There's Joel Hoffer, six twenty-four out of nine ninety-nine. Future Watch autograph for St. Louis. Mark with the Blues. Um, especially when they do those prime time games in a weird time of day and those shadows start creeping over. Usually it's just a day game or it's like the or it's just like a night game. But those prime time games on a national broadcast sometimes gets it kind of goofy. There's Joel again. Is he hitting you up with a uh, with his Instagram? It's out of nine ninety nine. This is twenty one out of nine ninety nine. You think he was doing these in order? He's like, oh yeah, this will be hilarious. Let me let me give you my Instagram handle. So he did the first however many cards, at least up to 21. By the time he got to 624, he was just like, no way. <laughs> you see? The first 50 are inscribed. Oh, okay. Oh, good. Well, so there you go. That's nice. First 50 are in square. See, see how loose the autograph gets a little bit? A little bit tighter autograph right there. It gets loose around 624. That's right. I do remember that. Yeah. First 50 are in square. That's cool. There's Austin Matthews. Limited insert. Winning a bunch of awards. Austin Matthews for Toronto. That goes to Kevin M. What's going on in hockey today? The, I guess the teams are setting up for the draft. Jack, did you mention there was a Kings trade or something like that? Oh, yeah. Kings deal from position of strength land Fiala. The Wild needed cap space, according to ESPN, and sent the talented winger to LA in exchange for a first round pick and a prospect. What first round, this year's first round pick? Is that a good deal? It said, ESPN says talented winger. Hockey fans, grade that trade on an A through F scale. The Sedin twins and Luongo amongst the 2022 Hall of Fame inductees. Maple Leafs sign Lil Jegren to a two year extension. Jack says a decent player with a nose for the net. I like that. Sounds like fun.
25 years old, it looks like. Let's look at the article. The Minnesota Wild Trade restricted free agent forward Kevin Fiala to the Kings in exchange for the Kings 2022, this year's first round pick, and University of Minnesota defenseman Brock Faber on Wednesday. Fiala had 20, 25, had 33 goals and 52 assists for the Wild in 82 games last season, posting a career best average of 3.5 points per 60 minutes. The Swiss born winger is entering his ninth NHL season, having spent four years with the Wild and five with the Nashville Predators. Not as big a nose for a goal as Jason thinks. Jason Jaspi. The Wild sought to move Fiala because of the salary cap crunch. So with the addition of Paris and Suter last summer, they had just over $4.7 million in dead cap space due to those buyouts, and the dead cap space increased to 12.7, blah, 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 blah. Arbitration eligible. Well, he's, so he's, he, will re -sign a, he will sign a contract extension with Los Angeles, expected to be in the area of seven years, with a 7.9 million average annual value. All right, so there you go. The King's selection in the first round is the 19th overall pick. The Wild is 24th overall. Does that look different? I think it is. Oh, that's a level three. I think most of these have been level one, maybe some level twos, but with the gold foil, that's level three. So I don't know how much of a difference that makes, but but there's Alexander Romanoff, defenseman for the Montreal Canadiens, the Habitants. It's for Jack. Wait, so Jason Jaspi, if you're listening, do we do we like this trade? There's Quinn Hughes, I think he's pretty popular. Vancouver, Kevin with Vancouver. And Future Watch autograph, 13 out of 999, Joel Faraby. There it is. So within the first fifty. So you get an inscription. Now some of the guys, I think Diego or someone was saying, maybe it was Riffer, somebody was saying in the chat, that it's usually their, uh, their debut date is what the inscription is. So there, there he is for Sean Gola and the Flyers. Fly, Flyers, fly. Sign of the Times autograph, Alex Took. For Vegas, that's going to be for Adam Richards. There's Kobitar. He's going to have a new new teammate. The other guy that was traded, Faber, 19, is a highly regarded defensive prospect, completed sophomore season at the University of Minnesota. It's the same Minnesota, I guess. So according to this ESPN writer, the trade signals another aggressive move towards contention for the Kings who made the Stanley Cup playoffs uh, for the first time since 2018 this season. They also they made a free agent splash last summer with, Phil, uh, with center Philip Denault and are now dipping into their deep prospect pool to add another veteran difference maker to their roster. There you go. I like the sound of that. Drew, what's going on? Oh yeah. We got some uh, some nice autographs in this hockey break here. Seems to be some excitement amongst the hockey fans. My knowledge of hockey is not very deep, so 
I'm relying on the uh, on the community here to tell me what's big or not. But I, there there is some excitement. I'll do a little recap after this, uh, after these two boxes. We see another thick card here, another patch auto maybe? Maybe towards the bottom? That'd be nice. Apparently those are not uh, those are not supposed to be too common. But we already got two out of this inner case. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. Yes, I need that I did forget the giveaway. You gotta remind me again after that box. All right, second to last box. Patrick Kane. Cal Foot. Uh, it's level one. Spectrum FX. Shifley. This isn't his his rookie card, but you know this is this is your Stanley Cup Finals, or I guess your playoff finals, right? MVP. Is that how they do it? Colorado, Scott. I'm sure Kale McCarsa has seen a little bump in value. There's Ryan McLeod for the Oilers. 3.09 out of 9.99. Edmonton. That will be for in Coop. Yeah, that was a nice patch. There is another patch auto coming up too, Riffer. Look at this. It is Joel Farabee. 88 out of 100. Three color patch on card autograph. autograph. Nice thick card stock. Uh, another one for the Flyers, Sean G. Sean, you're starting your uh, Joel Farabee PC, whether you intended to or not, at the start of this break. 86 out of 100. All right, last box coming up. Oh, this does fit in a shoe box, nice. I grabbed a monster box. I thought there's gonna be a lot more cards here. I also thought this break was gonna be a lot longer. This is all good news, ladies and gentlemen. All good news. I think I also have some financial interest in the Phillies. They've got the bases loaded in the bottom of the second. Let's go. Let's go, Phillies. Those Farabees must be from two years ago? Is he not supposed to be a future watch in this set? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Good eye, Jack. 2019-2020 SB Authentic Hockey. A little update, I guess. Kyle Wright gets out of a bases loaded jam. Who is who is that? Striking out. Oh, gotta, put, gotta put the ball in play. I only have financial interest in three games today. I had I had a little bit. Oh, was Moniac? Come on, Mickey. Former number one overall pick, Mickey Moniac. Got to put a, got to put the bat on the ball at least. Put it in place. See what happens. 
Got to put a little bit of financial interest on the A's just in case. That didn't work out. A little more financial, financial interest in the Phillies tonight. I think I'm also on the White Sox. The White Sox are facing uh, Otani and the Angels tonight. I think that's a late game, yeah. White Sox at Angels. I love the dogs. Fan of dogs. Dog fan. Dog lover. All right. Final box. Good luck. So what's the story with the what's the story with the lightning? I don't. What does their like window look like? Are are they going to be in on a? Uh, are they going to be in for another Stanley Cup run again next season, or is their like window narrowing? I don't know how old that team is, or what their contract situation is. What does everyone think? Educate me. There's Mira Heiskanen, twenty four out of one hundred for the Stars. That will be for Edward in Dallas. Dallas had some nice, uh, Edward had some nice uh, hits a little bit earlier in the break too. There's level one, Matthias Brom, Spectrum FX for Detroit. I like these moments right here too. Those are nice inserts. Those are all ships. Just vet commons that don't ship. That ships, just stuff like that won't ship. I'm sure Connor McDavid's will ship. I saved a few of those for Edmonton. And Joel Person. 794 out of 999. Future watch autograph for Edmonton. That is going to be for Inku and the Oilers. And Diego's wondering who's the big players that we should look out for in this year's NHL draft. And a nice Josh Bailey. Sign of the Times. Gold Ink Auto. Hand numbered. Uh, 14 out of, looks like 35. New York Islanders. Ryan Lynn with that. Nice one, Ryan. I like the gold against the black. It looks really sharp. I hope it's a player. I uh, hope it's a player that we like. And that, my friends, is that. And oh, right, I forgot again, Matt. Come on, charismatic, helping me out. Can't forget the giveaway. If you bought at least an even number of teams, you'll get half of those become entries for a sealed box from a different case, but a sealed box of uh, the brand new 2020-2021 SP Authentic Hockey. So let's alphabetize your names by your first name. So Adam only won one team. If you did win a team, that does, does count. Uh, Adam Richards got two teams. That's an entry. Edward got two teams, that's an entry. Jack got two teams. Uh, got three teams, but two count for the purpose of the promo. That's still an entry, Jack. Jeremy got an entry. Uh, Kevin got an entry. Logan got an entry. Mark, two teams, one entry. Matt, two teams, one entry. Ryan, two teams, one entry. Sean G, four teams. That's two entries. Steve with just one. Vince with one. Will with two teams. That's an entry. All right, so let's just spot check this again. So Will, not Vince, not Steve, yes, Sean, not Scott, yes, Ryan, not Mike, yes, Matt, Mark, Log Logan Smith. Oh, I got Logan, Kevin M, got Kevin, got Jeremy, got Jack, Edward, and Adam Richards. All right, so let's gather all of your names. A one in 12 chance, one spot out of the 12. We'll get a sealed box of this brand new release. Good luck. Name on top after five and a two, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and once more, right? Seventh and final time. 
Name on top after seven is Edward. Nice break for you, Edward. So Edward gets the, uh, the SP Authentic box. Sealed one from a different case going your way. And he got some nice star stuff earlier too. It's a level three Spectrum FX. Some Sign of the Times, Connor McDavid Spectrum FX. The, the uh, Acetate Mers Lincoln's Young Guns was really cool. Future Watch Patch Auto. There's the King Coastline. Look at this. This is really cool. Part of the Stars logo right here as well. Nice Jason Robertson patch and autograph. And then another Dallas Star autograph as well. There you have it, boys and girls. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.